Hi, I'm Francesco, Senior Developer Advocate at Ivan. In this video, we will see how you can create your first data pipeline using Ivan for Apache Flink. But first of all, what is Apache Flink? Apache Flink is an open source technology that allows you to build data transformations on top of a huge variety of data sources. With Apache Flink, you can, for example, take the data from your Postgres database or your Apache Kafka topic and transform it. You can, for example, filter the data or mask the data or aggregate or analyze the data on the fly. That's the beauty of Apache Flink. You can do data transformations on top of streaming data or batch data using a unified SQL interface. In this video, we will see how to create a filtering data pipeline using Ivan for Apache Flink and our console. So let's start. So here we are, and we are seeing the Ivan console where we have already a Kafka environment, Kafka test, which as we will see later, contains already some data. Uh, what we will do now is we will create an Ivan for Apache Flink service. So let's just click on create service. Let's scroll down and select Apache Flink. We can select the cloud provider. I'm using Google Cloud in Finland. I can select across several different plans. I will go for the business four for the sake of simplicity. And then I can give the Flink service a name. So I would call it Flink test. Now I'm clicking on create service and the service creation will start. This will take a couple of minutes. So instead of having us waiting, um, let's resync when everything is ready. Now our Flink service is up and running. What we can do here is first of all, create an integration between the Flink service and the Kafka service. Because Kafka is holding our data, Flink will work on top of the Kafka data. So let's create the integration by clicking on Get Started. We can select the Ivan for Apache Kafka as data services, and we can select the Kafka test as service that we want to integrate to. If we scroll down, we click on Integrate, and now the integration is ready. Now let's go to Apache Kafka and check what kind of data we have there. If we click on Services, we go to um, Kafka test, and then we can check that we have a topic. This topic is called CPU load. And if we browse the messages, we can fetch them. And we can see that in this topic, what we are storing is a set of IoT sensor reads. If we decode from base64 and we check the value, we can see that we have host names, CPU, uh, Unix timestamp occur at that, and the usage, which is a percentage of usage of that CPU in that host. So the data pipeline that we want to create is a filtering data pipeline. We want to create a data pipeline to filter only the values, the messages, having the CPU over a certain threshold, let's say 80%. And we want to publish this data to another Kafka topic. So let's start. Let's go back to our Flink service. We have already the integration with Kafka set up. So now it's time to create the data pipeline. What we are going to create though, is what we define as an application. An application is one-to-one -one with a data pipeline. Basically the application defines where I take the data from, where I push the data, which is the SQL transformation that I'm applying on top, and what are the deployments parameters that I want to apply when running the data pipeline. So let's create an application. Navigate into the application tab. We can create the application. We can give the application a name. Let's call it filtering. Click on create application. And now what I can do is create a version of the application. Again, what you can do in the console is versioning your application. So you can easily create new versions, go back to previous version and deploy what you feel is successful. So let's create a first version. First of all, we need to tell Flink where 
we are taking the data from. So we, we need to create a first source table. Check here, I can select which integration to use, in this case is Kafka test, and then have the SQL statement that I need to write in order to create a table on top of my Kafka topic. So let's create it. And as you can see here, I have um, C SQL auto completion. So for example, I want to create a table from a Kafka topic and our event for Apache Flink will suggest me what are the parameters that I should use. Now, what I will do as a good chef is have something already there for you so I can explain you all the parameters that I'm going to fill. So let me copy and paste it and let me show you what I created. I created a table called CPU in with the fields hostname, CPU, usage, and Accuridat that we saw previously in the Kafka topic. And then I'm telling Flink where to source this information. So I'm using the connector Kafka. I'm leaving blank the properties bootstrap service parameter because this information will be fetched by Ivan for Apache Flink from the integration that we defined between Flink and Kafka. And then I'm defining the source topic as being the CPU load. The value in the source topic is JSON, and my pipeline will start scanning all the messages starting from the beginning of the topic with the earliest offset parameter. So I can now add the table. Now that the source is done, let's move to the target. Let's click Next. And now we can define a sync table because we will transform the data and then push the data somewhere else. So let's say, create a sync table. And like before, I can select the integration, Kafka test, and I can write the SQL statement to define what my output data will look like. In this case, the table is called CPU out filter, and I have the same four fields that I had in my previous table also here. Just bear in mind that the shape of the source table and target table could be massively different. For this simple filtering data pipeline, we are having almost one-to-one. -one. The connection properties are similar to the previous table. So I have the connector Kafka, leaving blank from the properties bootstrap servers. Topic now is CPU load above threshold. The format is JSON, and the start, uh, startup mode is always earliest offset. Let me also add the sync table. Now I have both source and sync. Let's create the transformation SQL. Click on Next. The create statement here allows me to browse the structure of the source and the sync table. And also, I can insert a SQL statement that inserts into the output table, selects the fields one-to-one -one with the shape of the output table, and then adds the filter where usage is greater than some sort of threshold, in this case, 80%. Check at the bottom. We have a run option here. What the run option allows you to do is allows you to check that your SQL statement is performing the transformations that you are expecting. Or you can also run the same when you define a source table in order, in order to check that your data definition matches the data that is in the table. So let's check if our transformation does what we are aiming for. Let's click on Run. And now what we are doing is we are generating live data coming from the Kafka topic with the filter on top of it. So it will take a couple of seconds to start, but soon we should see data popping up in the screen. And as we can see here, we have the expected fields and only record with usage above the 80%. Now we can say, I want to save this application and deploy it later. Now the application is defined. However, nothing is still running. What we can do is create, take the application and create a deployment. We can click on Create Deployment. We can select the current version is version 1 you will be able to select all the versions that you created. 
We don't have a save point. A save point is a way to restart an application from an earlier version. In this case, it's a brand new application, so we don't need the save point. And we can define the degree of parallelism. In this case, one is enough. We can now deploy without the save points. Now, Apache Flink will start the deployment of my application, and we will see that our application will start taking the data from the Kafka topic, filter them out, and publish them into another Kafka topic. So let's go back to Kafka to check the end result of our data pipeline. If we go to Kafka test, we go to topics again, we see the original topic, CPU load, and now a new topic, CPU load above threshold. If we check for messages in this new topic, what we will see is that the messages in this new topic are only the one above the 80% threshold. If we fetch the messages now, now we will see that the message fetch again will be only the one above the 80% threshold. So if we decode from base 64 and we check the details, this is 83, this is 95, this is 93. To recap, what we saw in this video is how to create a streaming data pipeline, taking the data from an Ivan for Apache Kafka topic, reshaping it, in this case filtering, and pushing it back to another Kafka topic. We did all of that by defining an Ivan for Apache Flink application, where we basically defined the source, the sync, and the transformation only using SQL statements. I hope you enjoyed this video and you will give Ivan for Apache Flink a try. See you soon.